Uh, hey YouTube, this is going to be uh, my first video of 2021. I'm making a new uh, new account, mainly consisting of watches. Um, affordable watches that are reasonably affordable, not too cheap and not so expensive either. Um, I'm trying to keep it at maybe Seiko Citizens, um stuff like that because I know that Japanese watches um are downgraded. People think they are um they're made for like Walmart watches or cheap watches in general. So I wanna like to uh, shed a light on that. Um still gonna think about a name for this account. But yeah, this is going to be my first video. So, um, I would like to talk about, if you guys didn't re realize on my wrist, a Seiko Presage, uh, SPR, uh, yeah, SPRE 15 reference number. And let's look at this watch. From, it's an automatic watch, which means it charges by movement. One thing you guys tell right away is this is a flimsy bracelet. Like, of course, a watch is well made. The movement, the dial, um, the date wheel, everything's well made. But this is a flimsy bracelet. So, let's look at the watch face. Um, sorry, I don't know how to flip the camera while I'm doing it, so it's not going to be the best. But, um, so it runs a, a, a 4 hour 35 caliber movement. Uh, as you can see, it's on Mac, so it actually glides and sounds ticks. It's, um, not sure if you can see in the video, but it's a sundial green face. Uh, it has a gold second hand, and of course it tells the time like any other watch. Stuff that I do like about the watch is the crown right here. It comes with a big crown, almost a cone-shaped crown, with some uh, intricate detail on it. I don't know if you can see, but it's, um, it's easy to grip and uh, pull out. Um, on the back of the watch, it's all open back, so you can see it has a, a gold a rotor, um, a gold plating or bronze rotor, not 100% sure. It, um, it's a 23 June Seiko. Of course, it's not going to be the, it's, of course, it's not going to glide the easiest, like uh, or the smoothest but it does glide it has a 21,600 beats per hour i think it's 4800 beats uh per minute don't quote me on that uh as a approximate uh reserve time of 41 hours the clasp is a deployable clasp clasp like that but it's it's pretty flimsy compared to of course a Movado is going to be more expensive but you can get Movado's with around the same price range with a way bad bracelet bracelet isn't the best and it is also water resistant up to 50 meters or 5 bars or 165 feet um depending where you live maybe your metric it has a screw down case back um no else of course it's a cocktail time i'm not sure why they name it a cocktail time maybe because it's kind of dressy where you can uh into a casual and dressing at the same time. You can wear out to have a cocktail or you can just wear on a normal day basis. Um what is it? Uh 
until you can wind the watch, manual wind the watch as well, or shake it. I love the, um, if you can see the bezel, if it can focus in. It's uh, protruding of the case. It's a 12 millimeter case. It's um, the face of it is a 40 uh, 0.5 millimeter case. Not sure if that includes the includes a crown or not. The crown also has uh, uh it also has the um vintage. I think that's a vintage S logo because. I know mo a lot of the vintage Seikos have the S logo. Um, and what can I say about it? <laughs> but, um, yeah. That wasn't the best video, but that was my first video. Uh, I'm gonna be buying, a, buying another Seiko Prestige. So I'll make another video about that soon. And I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, please like, uh, comment, and subscribe. And I will greatly appreciate that. See you guys in the next video.